so thank you. Thank you for your invitation, for sure, in, uh, in Liverpool. So, I, uh, so the, the next step of the, the story, the, the, urban, uh, the story of the urbanism and the development of the city of Strasbourg is uh, located um, in the, on the east uh, side of the city. Uh, and but before to speak about the, the this next uh, step, uh, I, I would like to to start uh, with the, the explanation with the, our the way of thinking, with the geography because Strasbourg is for sure on the Rhine River in the Rhine Valley. You see the the section in the so in the, the bottom of this uh, picture uh, with the, the cathedral with only one <laughs> one tower, <laughs> uh, but. On both parts of, uh, of Strasbourg, you, you, you see uh, the, the, the Vosges mountains and on the other part, uh, the, the Black Forest. Both, uh, they are both uh, part of the same geological, uh, so the same geology. They used to be one big mountain with one uh, failure uh, so in the, uh, so in a long time ago. Uh, so, uh, like a fault, yeah, as you say, a failure, a fault, a fault. Uh, that's the, 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 the valley. But if you go there today, uh, you, you can look at the uh, Rhine forest, uh, the, the, um, the Black Forest, or to the Vosges mountains. It looks most so the same. It's the same landscape, the same vegetation, because the ground, the soil, is exactly the same, the same geology. But you have on one side France and the other side <laughs> uh, Germany for sure. So in the um, uh, in the history, so the, the 15 to 16 uh, century, uh, Strasbourg was uh, not directly uh, on the Rhine River, so but uh, along the uh, Ill River. Uh, the, so it's quite uh, with a with a distance in between, and they didn't want to uh, to develop the city uh, uh, next to the, the river because. Uh, it was at that time a march, as you see, with a lot of meanders, uh, illness, and so it was uh, the disease, and it was quite um, dangerous as a river. Then in the 17th, 18th century, they built uh, the citadel, so it's on both parts, it's like a gate, it's very uh, military uh, uh, so construction, on an but still the same Rhine River uh, as a march. And then uh, during the 19th and uh, 20th, uh, 20th century, the, the canalization of the Rhine River is there, uh, and at the same time the the, the port, yeah, so the is uh, with the different canals. So we 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 are starting with uh, the meanders and ending to the to the this in big infrastructure, uh, and we spoke with uh, Roland Ries, uh, the mayor, uh, just now about this south part of the city, the extension of the De Rive urbanization uh, started, um, I think, 20, 20 years ago, and we are. Uh, I am now developing the last part of it, so 100 hectares, a bit. Uh, uh, less than the, the half of it, reaching uh, the border, uh, Germany, and the, the, the idea of uh, the city of Strasbourg and the mayor was to first, before the, even before the urbanization, uh, it was to install a, a new infrastructure, the tramway. The tramway is before the city, there. You have a no today you go there, you have a no man's land and a tramway with many people, uh, uh, so uh, traveling from France to Germany, from Germany to France, it's a big success. It's it's very beautiful. To it's a new feeling for everyone in in Strasbourg or in Kiel. Uh, the, the you can cross so easily. So uh, you have uh, the tram for sure, uh, the tram, uh, the the, the tracks. But you have beside uh, all along, you have uh, like a, sh a shared space for pedestrian and for bike bikes. And that's really easy. Yeah, you you feel how, how uh, close the Ger Germany is, and we it's uh, you can see. I like this picture because you see the cranes. Yeah, so you see the we are starting to build the the, so the, the city. 
uh, how could we develop uh, the the port? Yes, as a, the new the, what is the new phase? What is the new question of the city? We 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 say that the, the first uh, UNESCO was uh, so uh, preservation area was. Uh, the, the Middle Ages center. Then we spoke about the, uh, the Neustadt, the, the new city, the, the Prussian uh, face. Then we spoke with the De Rive, the, the beginning of this industrial heritage. We, you, s you saw right so a few minutes ago uh, examples of it. What is the next step after the industrial heritage? In my opinion, the next step is the landscape. The landscape as heritage. And we don't have only to uh, focus on this uh, west-east or east-west axis here. We have to focus on you have to uh, on the north-west, uh, no, north-south, sorry, uh, axis, which is the uh, the direction of the valley, the Rhine Valley, which is the direction of the port, because every one of the, the canals are all they are all of them uh, north-south. So we have to stress this main direction. This is the direction of the, of the landscape, of the valley. And if we follow this uh, direction in the north, so if we zoom out, that was very important, not only to stay here in this, uh, so the localization uh, so of the, the, the question, but to zoom out to see that in directly in the north of the, the Rive, we have a forest. A remaining uh, uh, Rhine forest in the south. The same thing. The big gr green area is another uh, forest. Both of them are so uh, they look uh, like this. So it's really uh, so they are really natural. It's a biodiversity uh, reservoir. We can see we can say this uh, like this maybe. And we could at the same time we will develop the city. We will uh, reconnect. Uh, the one forest to the other one through this new uh, district. So the, the district will, um, at the same time, we will uh, um, increase the, the number of inhabitants. We will increase the biodiversity of the site. Today it's no man's land, no vegetation in the port. We, the, the landscape will be a structure and will be a new connection uh, so reconnecting with the, the nature of the site, we, s we are speaking about the di biodiversity, but about the fauna uh, along the, the Rhine River and along the, the canals. The second element is for sure is the port itself. Uh, industrial heritage means the, the beautiful uh, buildings, which are, which are quite high, uh, but at the it's a good scale for this beautiful so water shed, uh, water, water landscape with a lot of uh, distance between building because of the water and the water itself, it's an heritage for sure. It's an horizontal infrastructure. It's built. So er the landscape is built and uh, so as well as the architecture for sure. That's really interesting to, to work in such situation. And if we look uh, more uh, closely to the to the site, if you, s you see the, the harbor, it's here in the middle. It's like a big island today. Uh, but in the middle, you have uh, the, th those two white lines. We were in, um, it was intriguing at the beginning to see this, this kind of uh, fringe in the middle. It's a linear fringe with, uh, with vegetation. But looking at the historical uh, plan, we saw that this strange fringe in the middle used to be uh, in the past in the 50s until the 50s a canal this is the white line in the middle here today uh, so it's not any more visible you, you it was like this yeah so it's an her um, historical uh, picture you see the canal how how, we, uh, how it was at that time a real canal with a row of trees with bridges it was the city was already there at that time and so we we have to uh, reconsider this uh, trace, maybe, yeah, so we can say, uh, say like this. Uh, and so this uh, former canal, so not uh, it's filled up with earth and with uh, many things today, but it's not possible to build on 
on this on the where the canal was because the, the, the ground is not uh, strong enough and uh, the concept of our idea was a bit like you saw in the beginning when the the river the Rhine river used to be a march today if we uh, draw in the same way this is the white uh, surfaces if we draw in the same color and the same way the river Rhine the canals and the former canal we can feel uh, again where the islands were yeah we can see here the gray uh, uh, the gray islands which are all of them uh, very uh, long and very uh, north south oriented and on uh, placed on every one of those uh, big islands you have a, a black uh, surface that means uh, the rive yeah this is exactly where we are asked to develop the city it's a quite a fragmented uh, so city but this fragmentation uh, is important because uh, the islands could give different identities uh, a diversity of identities to every one of those small fragment of uh, the of city so the big uh, so if you have uh, the view of the all so the you can see in the middle uh, the green uh, so the former canal which is like it could be a green uh, and a, so a linear park crossing the the site from north to the south uh, creating uh, in the future the disconnection the, the connection with the, the forest you can see in the, the red line is the, the tram the tramway and the shared space crossing everything and uh, the first place where we will uh, uh, work uh, today we, you cannot see anything of our drawings so it's not realized today it's an ongoing process on the left you see uh, like a peninsula this is the it's called uh, the citadel on, on af after the canal uh, you see, uh, so sorry, here, the, this is a peninsula, Citadel, this is Tarlet, the second part of the project on, on the other side. Uh, then you have uh, La, La Cop, uh, Alexandre Shemetov, another uh, landscape architect, architect, urbanist, is developing right now this, uh, it will be a cultural uh, center for the all, uh, so like a new uh, pole, and a new uh, very strong, uh, heritage uh, situation because there you have a lot of existing industrial buildings he has uh, more or less uh, so to reprogram everything but the the buildings are there it's not the case for the this this part of this or here and the last part is along the rhine river so this could be this linear park at the same place as the the canal because today it's it's uh, lifted down a bit, not too much, but you can feel a bit the, the, the trace of the canal. We, the idea is to have a, a very uh, quite a, so a natural park. You can see here the, uh, the, the tram, the tramway crossing like a bridge, this former canal, this, uh, this park. And the question was in this area, how could we uh, build? Yeah, what is the architecture? What is the materiality? of the architecture we have to to follow to understand the harbor uh, the port identity the uh, architectural identity of this we made for sure a study to understand all the the scale the materials uh, how how could we uh, work uh, to be inspired uh, by the uh, what is the color of this materiality so we have a lot of bricks a lot of concrete uh, so, so it's important to understand. So, how to be uh, uh, quite in harmony with this? What is the scale? Is the scale totally different from the city center for the medieval uh, city? Not totally. Here we mixed. Uh, it's, uh, so we wanted to, to compare uh, the the old city center, so medieval, with this kind of the scale of building with industrial buildings which are a bit higher but the volumes yeah so that it's quite uh, we can compare it yeah so it's very long it's quite high uh, it's not totally different it has something uh, we can find uh, different a continuity 
uh, in the scale. And as well, we can find a continuity in the, the idea of stratifying the architecture. So the old buildings of the city center are really stratified with the ground floor, with the, uh, so with the materiality of the ground floor, the facade and the roof. And in the, in the port, you have more or less in the same way this stratification. So it was a, a guide for us to develop the, the volumes. So how could we build uh, along the, the canals? Uh, the idea is for sure every time is to install uh, the, the water as a central, as a centrality. The central element is the water, is the canal, or is this is the Rhine River. On, on both sides of the, of the water, you will have uh, a park, so kais, and uh, it's uh, the vegetation, the biodiversity will be on both sides. And then you have, uh, you will, f you will uh, have a, like a face a face, uh, so face to face uh, situation between uh, the, the, the architecture, the new architecture uh, of on both sides. The idea is uh, when I said we want, we don't want to follow only the the infrastructure of the tramway. We want to stress the north south direction. That means uh, the, the the facades will really be. Uh, all along the canals on one side and the other. And every time we will have a bridge like this, uh, the architecture will react with a, with a higher building. So like a dialogue with the, the bridge and the, the architecture. And the architecture is really quite near. The, so it's, uh, we are really uh, positioning the, the architecture very near from the, this infrastructure. So you will have an, uh, like a traveling effect. Yeah, so if we are cr you are crossing in the tram uh, the, the built uh, space, the streets, it's quite narrow. And then uh, the, the vision is totally open when you cross uh, the, the canal or when you cross uh, uh, a bit further uh, the, um, the Linear Park, for example, and then the, the Rhine River. So this is uh, today the, the, the existing uh, master plan for everything. It's an ongoing plan. It's not finished. It's moving every month. You have a new element. Or a, so it's not to totally uh, stabilized. Uh, I, we could ha make a zoom here on the, on the, on the left. So th this is the first part which will be um, uh, constructed. We, we are starting on both sides of the canal. Here you have a remaining uh, industrial uh, so caf coffee uh, product, uh, producer uh, and we will we'll start with this uh, this part here and in the opposite there. So as I said the, the linear parks are really framing the, the view to the basin, the Bassin Vauban it's called all of the streets are uh, orthogonal to the to the canal are coming there uh, um, ending to the uh, to the water like uh, different alleys with different trees different identities to have really to get an address different address from one street to another one uh, so one possible uh, vision of the the, the canal so the, if we start with the, the peninsula, uh, it's uh, about, uh, so we will have there uh, more than 1,000 uh, apartments, uh, so uh, 5,000 square meters activities, so one school, for example. The, the west part of it here is, uh, the, is facing the city. We will maintain totally this part like uh, as an heritage. The, the, all the constructions are uh, already there. Uh, but we will reprogram so this uh, this side uh, with the uh, gastronomy, with the uh, events, with temporary uh, uh, animation. The other part, this part here, is totally new. Uh, it's uh, the new uh, district. This is the This is a his uh, historical part, uh, as you can see, the with the new uh, programmation looking at the city center, so it's very important to have the, the co-visibility. Um, uh, yeah. 
five minutes. We are almost at the end. Like this, for example. This is the other part where uh, we don't have only uh, bricks there. In this peninsula, we are, we are allowing to use uh, wood, uh, sorry, wood uh, for uh, facades. It's it's uh, it remains. It's the all the every building is quite uh, is not so high until uh, four uh, floors. Um, skyline is important, uh, as I said before. So to maintain uh, the the more or less the same height in the in the, the this peninsula, except the big uh, tower along the um, along the bridge, as a signal. It will be the first signal of this new uh, development. With the so a visible signal, that's it's sure it's quite uh, strong, but it's not higher than uh, the existing some existing building industrial building in the in the port with different uh, activities on the water with new uh, uh, boats along, so it, it could be uh, anim quite animated for sure. This is another uh, building uh, who won uh, uh, the fir first uh, so it's the second building who won. Uh, with, the, uh, with the developers, where they will start uh, in a few months, this uh, building uh, split it in uh, different levels uh, because you have the, the tram uh, near to it, so you can uh, enter from the, the Kai level or from the lifted up level, this is the lifted up level, and you see the transparency between the, the base, uh, concrete and the bricks, uh, this transparency is a um, collective uh, space uh, in uh, in the middle of the building, looking at the, at the canal. The other part is uh, Starlet. Starlet is more so is facing this uh, brick and wood uh, uh, part, which is the peninsula. Starlet is more all 100% made by uh, bricks, a bit higher. Uh, this is a, a stepped uh, with a stepped uh, building. This is the first building uh, who won the competition here on this part. So you, you can see the different uh, terraces, the different levels looking at the, uh, to the canal. So same thing in the, in the, in the open spaces. The next uh, fragment uh, is the, so the, the COP uh, area. So from Alexandre Shemetov, I, ha I don't have too many pictures of his uh, part. Uh, but uh, as I said, so here we have many uh, existing uh, industrial buildings. It's uh, very, uh, the process is uh, a bit further than our process and uh, the we will have many artists, uh, cultural uh, activities uh, will uh, be, um, uh, will start uh, in, uh, in a few months there. And at the end, uh, so this is uh, the one of the last uh, pictures. Uh, we are reaching the Rhine River, so uh, facing really Germany. We are, this is the last step of this uh, development with the, the new face-to-face -face between Germany and France. But it's it's a kind of uh, uh, European metropolis. Uh, and uh, so here, and uh, so we are building together uh, with uh, with Kale because the people are crossing. We we we. We are meeting them to reinvent uh, the, the city along the Rhine, which we don't have today. Uh, and at the, the, the last uh, buildings um, on the Rhine could be uh, higher because the, the Rhine is much wider than every canal in, uh, of the port. We have a big landscape. We are reaching uh, here a big landscape. We'll have a linear, another linear park connecting the forest and uh, Jar Jardin des Deux Rives, you saw uh, before with uh, the presentation of Roland Ries. Uh, so at the end, this is not my last uh, picture, so at the end, the heritage is not only medieval, it's not only Prussian, it's not only I industrial, it's uh, the landscape, the landscape is structuring. We, have, we can see here the different strata. We are viewing uh, Strasbourg and the cathedral from the German embankment, uh, the, the first one, uh, and we have different strata and we have one big landscape structuring the whole thing. Thank you very much for your attention.
Thank you very much, Henri.